Hi everyone, it's Lauren Shippen, the creator and writer of The Bright Sessions. Today we are doing something a little bit different. What you're about to hear is not an episode of The Bright Sessions, but a special guest episode to introduce you guys to another audio drama produced by our friends over at the podcast network, Wondery. The show is called Secrets, Crimes, and Audio Tape. And just like The Bright Sessions, the story is told episode to episode. But on this podcast, there are many stories that each play out over one to six weeks. Some are dramas and some are comedies, but they are all either about crime, love, mystery, or conspiracy. For example, the story we are about to hear is called A Beautiful Spell. It's a comedy about a couple, Franny and Jim. They have been married for 12 years when Franny wakes up at 3 a.m. one night, afraid that she may have fallen out of love. Then they spend the rest of the night going through their jealousies, their insecurities, and their fantasies. The couple is played by real-life husband and wife duo Bodhi and Jenna Elfman, who everybody will remember from Dharma and Greg. The second story on Secrets, Crimes, and Audio Tape is Air Force One, which reenacts the 60 minutes that followed the assassination of JFK and one particular conspiracy theory about it. Future stories include Upper West Blues, a black cat murder mystery, in which the story is told from the perspective of a cat who was witness to the crime, and Love Contract, a bizarre comedy about a company that tries to control the romantic relationships between their employees. There's really something for everybody on this podcast. So, while you're waiting for the Bright Sessions to return, dive into this excellent new audio drama series. Plus, it's hosted by our friend David Reinstrom, who you may know from the fabulous podcast Radio Drama Revival, another Wondery show that features audio drama and on which I myself have been interviewed. No one knows audio drama better than David. Secrets, Crimes, and Audio Tape is available as a podcast, just like this one, so hit that search button and go subscribe. But for now, we're going to hear the first full segment of A Beautiful Spell. Jim? Jim? Are you awake? Jim? Uh, Jim! <gasps> what? What is it? What? Fran? Hun, uh, it's three in the morning. What are you doing up? Jim? Uh, uh, um. Franny? Jim? Honey, what is uh, it? I'm scared, Jim. I'm, 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 I'm scared. What's wrong? I, I... Fran, is, is it... Is Jack okay? Jack? Our son, Jack, is he okay? I don't know. Fran? Yes? Fran? He's fine. I mean, I, I, I think he's fine. I assume so. Why? Are you dreaming? Franny? What? Are you sleepwalking? No. Are you sure? No, I mean, yes, I'm awake. I'm awake. All right, well, damn it, you're freaking me out. It just doesn't... It doesn't make sense. I just... I can't... I can't. It doesn't just... Franny, slow down, all right? Just stop pacing I, and just... I woke up, and I had this... This thought... I, I, I tried to go back to sleep, but it, it wouldn't go away. It won't go away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What thought? I don't love you. What? I don't love you, Jim. I don't. I don't understand. Honey, what are you talking about? I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't feel love for you. And I'm terrified. I, I, do you understand? Do you? Kind of. Where are you going? I'm, I'm just going to go to the bathroom and splash some water on my face. Just... I, I, I woke up and... And I looked at you. Fran. I looked at you. It was dark. And I felt alone. I, I can't hear you, Fran. Hold on. Okay. 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 Do Chinese people look American when they wake up? Jim? Y you know, I, I thought you were a fucking prowler standing there like that. It scared the shit out of me. Jim! Just a second, okay? Let me just catch my breath. Okay, now, first, 
Let's take a deep breath, okay? A little deeper. Good. Okay, now let's start this again. I don't love you. Let's start a little earlier. I think I'm having a panic attack. You don't look like you're My having a panic attack. My ears are hot. Okay. And I can't stop shaking. You don't look like you're shaking. Will you stop arguing with me? I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Now, without saying... I, Jim, I don't... Without saying you don't love me, without using those words, try to explain to me as clearly as you can what is going on. I don't know. Try again. I woke up. It was dark, quiet... I looked around, and it was so quiet. Okay. I felt alone. I've never felt so alone. That happens to me. It does? Wake up in the middle of the night, you have a panic. Yeah. Yeah, sure, it's late. You're half asleep. You're susceptible. In the middle of the night, the rest of the world seems frozen in time. Yes. That's when the bad thoughts slip in. It is? Yes, you feel like the only living person It's scary. Yes. It's called a night terror. Very common. I have them all the time. So so you're saying this will all go away in the morning? Yes. So tomorrow I'll wake up and love you again? I don't think it's that you don't love me. You're just having anxiety. I mean, it could just as easily be about work or Jack or, or anything. Your brain is caught between sleep and, you know, wakefulness. You're feeling stress and, and you're tired and your brain, right? Your brain is, is trying to find a, a scapegoat. Why do you keep talking about my brain like it's sitting in the chair beside me? Listen, I, I'm saying you wake up, you look at me, you're feeling this this stress, honey. You make the connection. How horrible it would be if you didn't... But whatever. And you think it and it becomes true for that moment. I have it all the time. You do? All the time. So, I still love you? <laughs> well, I, I hope so. How do you know? Because, honey, we love each other, right? Right. Yes, it's the logic of our lives. It always has been. It always will be. Look at me, Fran. It's me, Jim. It's Jim. Mm-hmm. Now let's go back to sleep, okay? <sighs> Franny? Fran, are you... I woke up, and I looked over at you, and I saw your face. You were sleeping, and I saw your your stupid face. I, I saw it, and I looked at it. Your mouth was open. You were breathing through it with your face, and that stupid look, and your chest, and your stupid pajamas, and I thought, I don't love this person. I feel nothing for this person. Is that what happens to you when you wake up in the middle of the night? No. I generally like your nightwear. Oh, Jim, I'm scared. Well, don't I, be, okay? It'll pass. What if it doesn't? What if I don't love you anymore? Fran, Fran, you're, you're, you're pacing again, sweetheart. Listen to me, okay? Honey, honey, you love me. I do, don't I? Yes, and I love you. Right. We say it all the time. And we're not like other people. We mean it. Yes, we don't just say it to say it. No, we mean it because it's true. We're not like those other couples. We're Jim and Franny. We've yes. been married for 12 happy years in love. We fit, remember? We complement each other. That's right. We do. I'm the pragmatic one. You're the spontaneous one. We have a child named Jack whom we love collectively. It's been the logic of my life. Now, let's go back to bed and I'll try sleeping on my side. Oh, my God. What? Uh, My ears. What? Hot? They're cold. They're cold now? They're freezing. Here, let me... Get your stupid hands away from me. Oh, God. I don't know why I just said that. I, I... I love your hands. I've always loved these hands. They were the first thing I noticed about you. Did you know that? I saw you standing there with your friends at that place, remember? Uh Uh-huh. And I said to Leslie, I said, Les, check out his hands. He has musicians' hands. You were so disappointed when I said I was a claims adjuster. They've gotten me through so much, these hands. The night my mother died, they stroked my hair all night. Through my cancer scare that whole disgusting week, my hands were never empty of them. They got me through Jack's birth. They're good hands. I don't know what I would have done without them. I look at them now and I think these are the stupidest hands I've ever seen. God, Jim, you have to help me. I'm trying. How can this happen? How can it just go away? It can't. It didn't. (sighs) 
I can't not love you. It's all I know. You love me. Hey, hey, Fran, Fran, look at me, okay? <sighs> We're gonna figure this out, okay? Now, let's think about this rationally. <sighs> okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, all right. Now, you say you woke up and, and suddenly you didn't love me. Now, is that what you're saying? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. All right. And before that, last night, before you went to bed, you were fine, right? I think so. Okay, yeah. yes. Now, we're getting somewhere. We are? Yes. Okay. Now, what did you eat last night? Uh, I ate what you ate. The... the leftover risotto. Okay, and then what? Walk me through it. Uh, after the risotto? What did you do then? Uh, I did what I do every night. I graded a few tests. Organized my lesson plan for the kids. Then we came upstairs. That was about 11. Yeah, I got ready for bed, brushed my teeth. I flossed. Do you usually floss? Well, lately, I've started to make an effort. Oh, okay, okay. I brushed my hair. I turned off all the lights. I took my melatonin. Your what? It's an herbal sleep aid. Well, since when do you take a sleep aid? For about three years. You never told me that. Okay, sorry. Go on. I got in bed. I read a few pages of my book. Fell asleep. And when I woke up... I was stupid. Oh, God, Jim. Uh, okay, honey, we're going to figure this out, all right? Every problem has a solution, right? Look at me, Fran. Fran, do you trust me? Of course. Do you love me? Sorry, just testing. Okay, okay, so uh, risotto, papers, toothbrush, floss, still not stupid, right? Lights, melatonin. Melatonin. Melatonin, bed, book, woke up. You think it's the flossing? So you went to bed, you, you woke up, you looked, you looked over at me, and then... I don't feel it, Jim. Hmm? I don't feel it. I'm so sorry, but I don't. I don't know why. How could it just go away like that? I mean, how can it just disappear? I'm trying to feel it. You have to believe me. I'm, I'm trying to make it come, and it just won't. The feeling won't come. What did you think? Are you wondering what happens next? You can find the second half of episode one and the complete episode two wherever you are listening to this podcast. And believe me, you won't want to miss episode two. That's where things start getting really interesting. They say it all the time, couples. They try to bring variety into their marriage by being other people. Role play. Role play. Right. I'll be someone, and you'll be someone. We'll pretend. But I call, we can't be people we know. You mean like I would ask you to be Leslie or something? Yes, like that. And that's just the first story. The next story is Air Force One, and it's about the 60 minutes that followed the assassination of JFK and one of the biggest conspiracy theories in American history. What if people close to JFK had been tipped off and did nothing? Here's Golden Globe winner Stacy Keach playing Vice President LBJ. What do you think, Rufus? Something bigger going down here? Well, we need to get you out of Dallas, like now. Something bigger? We need to get you airborne, sir. You and Mrs. Johnson will be safe in Air Force One. Back to Washington immediately. Immediately is priority one. Sir. This isn't finished, is it, Rufus? If you like the show, please tell your friends about it and subscribe to it and give us a good rating on iTunes. That would be awesome. Most folks don't even know what an audio drama is right now, so we are trying to spread the word. This is Secrets, Crimes, and Audio Tape. What's your secret? <laughs>